Connor McDavid is on the ice, and the loose puck is taken by Lucic. Can't clear it out. Held into the right point. Shot from there. Tipped and a save by Quick. And the puck just went wide to the left. Six seconds ago. In front, McDavid. And he scores. Now they're going to wave it off. They're going to wave it off. You know why, Bob? Jonathan Quick got his glove on this. The referee, you're right, Bob. The referee pointed in the net. He did. He thought it was in. The Kings had a chance to get it out with Lucic, and they did get it out. All they have to do is bounce it. Now they're going to take a look at this. But does it get over the line? Tough to see. That's tough to tell. You have to figure out where is that puck. Where in the glove is the puck? Quick gets back. From this point on, you need definitive evidence. It could still be in the front part. The entire glove is not over. You can make the argument that his glove is over, but not the entire glove. We'll try to get other angles. It's very difficult to see. Now it's important here what the call on the ice was. As far as I remember, I think the referee pointed in the net like he thought it was a goal. Now you're gonna need evidence to overturn that. Yeah. Well, it comes with 3.8 seconds left in regulation. Now this is very, very close. There is common sense that can be used in this rule. For instance, if Jonathan Quick's entire glove was over the line and you still don't see the puck in the past, they've decided, hey, common sense, goal is in. But Jonathan Quick, wow. If this one still stands up as a save, I mean, this is, we're gonna try to figure out, there's the glove, it's not over the line. Okay, it's a little bit over the line. Where's the puck? If it's in that webbing portion, if it's in the webbing portion right there, then of course it has a chance for it to be completely over the line. But can you make that assumption where it is? And of course he pulls it back. I'll go back to about where the Kings, the Kings had a chance to clear it. They did, and it wasn't a cleanly won face-off. It's one of those where you're just looking to get it out of the zone. And the Kings did not do that. So they're taking a look at it here high above on the scoreboard. You can hear the reaction of the fans. It's one of those where you might make the assumption that it's over. And I'll be honest with you, Bob, this could go either way. Yeah. Yeah. It's not definitive. Again, you never see the puck over the line. So they are reviewing this in Toronto. They are taking their time. This is critical right here. And Toronto, Bob, does have views that we don't have. Yeah. Toronto has in-net cameras. Now, again, from where the angles would be, it would still be very difficult because of the glove covering the puck. You never clearly see the puck over the line on the views we've seen. Referees tonight, Rob Martel, Dan O'Rourke. That's Rob Martel right over there with a headset on. So this is not a coach's challenge either, so it's not one of those situations. This is not a goaltender interference. Back to the faceoff again. The Kings create a loose puck, and right there, Lucic gets a chance to get there, and oh, the Oilers get there first. Lucic had it on a stick for a split second. How many times did he get close? He got close there. Yeah. Then he gets close here. See the referee? See, but you know what? The referee thought the puck was in the net. Yeah. He yeah. thought it was in the net. He thought it was in the mesh. We'll get a ruling here. After video review, the call on the ice stands. We have no goal. Oh, no goal, and the Kings still lead with 3.8 seconds to go. Again, the referee felt the puck was in the back of the net. That's the way he, he was pointing. You'll see the lot, referee come in. See him point there? He's looking back here. He's looking for the puck there. Then he realizes that it never made its way to the back of the net. It only went to the glove of Jonathan Quick. But then because you don't have that definitive look, you can never actually see the puck over the line. Interesting reaction by the, the referee there. Of course, they can get together and talk about it and say, did they see it over the line? No, you didn't see it over the line. Now nice. we'll have this face off again. 5.2, they put time back on the clock. Kopitar on the draw and off the draw. Who's got the puck? Pearson trying to get it. That is the end of the game. And the Kings win their fifth in a row.